Well, we have many entrants on the Xbox and PlayStation side of things for the track design competition. We had far less on PC, and we have rounded down to just three finalists instead of the four that we have on PlayStation Xbox. Now, I actually do need my controller for this, so excuse me while I plug it in. Well, Corpseless has now got the best time on Serpentine Sky. Interesting. Taking it from Kairos, who was the previous record holder. Anyway, let's take a quick look at these three tracks and by the end of the video, you'll have seen all three and can vote on your favourites. Simple as that. It's a straightforward process. Also, don't get a lot of uh, university tracks. Ooh, an upside down sort of jump there. I know we did look at these like not that long ago, like a couple of days ago. It feels like it was a couple of days ago. Well, it feels like it was weeks ago, but I'm pretty sure it was only a couple of days ago. I think this is a fast paced track, if I'm not mistaken. High speed, lots of boosters, sort of thing. You want to take the inside on this corner so you can clip that booster but obviously Kairos has decided it is faster to just take a better racing line uh, I did that I did that last time I really did I do quite like the way that we've got the inside lane there just gonna not fall for this bit of uh what's the word um Death perception. Damn it. Uh, just, there is a lot of uh, risk and reward for this track. Like, you take some risks and it'll get you there faster. But it does also mean that you run the risk of falling off the track quite easy or hitting sides. Get off the wall. Maybe don't get on the wall, five head. Ah, <laughs> sure, sure. Just kind of clip that. That was on me. I wish I had like, I have so many great ideas for tracks, but I don't have the ability to turn them into like anything that looks half good. Uh, I just, I don't have the track building experience or ability. I can't figure out this track builder at all. So to see people just making good tracks is really nice. Uh, and I really wish I had the skills required to be able to do some of my own. Next up we have Mog's Cruise. Uh, there is like eight Mog's Cruise tracks and it is the first one for those that wish to drive it themselves. Let's go. It's really cool. You get to choose there. What do you want? Do you want boost or do you want to go a little bit faster? Uh, I actually personally don't know what is better to get the boost pads or the speed. I love that you just like you're constantly at high speed on this track. It is very fast paced. I kind of just like kind of got lost in my own thoughts there. Just enjoying the pace of the track. Um, there's a few tracks that you can kind of just forget that you're recording and just drive. 
Imagine this in the hands of like a good driver instead of me. That, yeah, I knew that was happening. Oh, okay. Sad. What a sad finish to it. Just a great track. And like, it's not even like the track was bad. It was user error. And we are on the last one, Serpentine Sky. Uh, this one is... Just a real... I realized they're all my like, hey, let's not be unfair and name people so they don't get favoritism from their friends. Mox Cruz has his name in it. So this one's from Animax. The other one is by uh, Ash Dude from the Xbox guys. He apparently also has the game on PC. I remember this track last time I was actually a big fan of. It has that little bit of vertigo to go with it all. Um, it's just a very well designed track. No, this section up here, I don't. Uh, it looks like it doesn't have walls. Um, and I'm always like, no, not a twisty upwards with no walls, but it's fine. It has walls. Oh, these gorgeous transitions. Oops. Kind of overdid it there. Those sides are fine. If anything, avoiding those is helpful. We do a barrel roll here. Styling. God damn it. Ride that wall, that's fine. You know, this is nice just because it is like very much just up in the sky and it really lends itself to that airborne theme of just being up high. Are the snakes for show? That's cool. Oh, it was like, hang on a minute, we're not allowed snakes. But yeah, they're just show. It's cool. Silly me. I genuinely do really enjoy this track. I, I enjoy all three of the tracks for PC. Um, and I'd be happy with any of them for Season 4, but realistically it's up to the community which tracks they're going to vote on. And hopefully we don't have any drama. Do you know how many like things we've put to a community vote that people have tried to cheese and screw around with by like bringing people into the server just to vote for their thing? <laughs> it's awful. It's awful that people do that. Ah. Uh, but yeah, having outside influence on your track votes is fine when you haven't, like, requested it from all your Facebook friends. Outside influence needs to be people that are willing to watch or people that are willing to race. You know, if people are going to race this in multiplayer and want to vote for it because they like it, sure. But when you just, like, you've never even played, you don't even own the game and you don't plan to watch any of the races or anything, it's like you're only doing this because someone on Facebook was like, hey, can you do this for me? It gets a bit, eh. Uh... Nice. 
us. <laughs> Hey, Adamax, you should put that checkpoint a bit further back so we can backflip there. <laughs> Obviously, I know he wants people to go through the tire, but still. Put it just behind the tire. Anyway, that's these three tracks. Comment below your favourites. Uh, and the winner will be part of Season 4 for World Race Unleashed. See you then.